All right, hey guys. Well, first off, not everyone is going to find this video interesting, but uh, Brian Cutlery Novice is having an international giveaway and he wanted me to take part in it since I'm from Poland and uh, he's a good friend. So I will uh, enter his contest to support him. And uh, dude, this was way, way generous of you to do a, a uh, giveaway only for international subscribers. Very, very awesome of you. Uh, thanks, bro, for giving us the opportunity. But uh, he wanted us uh, to mention in the video, if we were uh, to win, which knife uh, would we want? So, um, Brian from the uh, website, what the fuck was it called? Uh, let's see. Oh, crap, I forgot. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, blade play yes bladeplay.com and the knife that um, I guess I would want if I uh, won uh, and you know he has a limit to 20 bucks and the knife that I would want would be the Boker Magnum escape knife um, you know it's the little uh, uh, little fixed blade with the leather sheath with a clip on it uh, so that's pretty cool and um, yeah and also he wanted us to give a shout out. So I'm gonna give a quick shout out. Wow, I just revealed what the <laughs> what I was going to do. All right, so that's a teaser. What the hell was that? All right, but uh, shout out's gonna go to the Mediocre Pirate. A very, very cool guy. Um, I just recently started watching his videos. Uh, a lot of Spideys, way cool guy. I can't um, wait to see his next video. Uh, but all right. Uh, let's keep going and Brian also wanted us to talk about our country's history and I'm gonna talk about the most popular car in the 1980s There it is This is the Fiat 126 P um, In Poland this car is called the Maluch, which is simply uh, which simply means a small one or um, a toddler uh, uh, because this car was very, very, very small. <laughs> uh, you know, trust me, this car is pretty small. Uh, but very, very cool. I like it. And uh, it holds a lot of history um, for uh, the Polish people. So I'm going to get to that in a second. But this uh, car was produced in Poland under the name uh, Polski Fiat uh, 126P, which means uh, Polish Fiat 126P. And uh, it was made between the years of 1973 up until 2000 so this car has a lot of history and it was produced by the company called FSM which means Fabrika Samochodów Małolitrażowych in Bielsko Podlas, raczej Bielsko Biała, I'm sorry uh, jumbling up my freaking words and uh, Tychy which are pretty much uh, regions and uh, cities in Poland Oh fuck, a lot to go over, trust me guys. Uh, Alright, so due to a, uh, well maybe uh, let's talk a little bit differently about this, but this car was uh, fairly cheap, and even now this car is very cheap. Uh, like nowadays you can get this car for 500 up until 1000 zlote, which is pretty much like almost freaking nothing. Simply, uh, simply put, this is a cheap car. Um, and uh, and back then, uh, having this car would uh, was like a luxury, you know. If you had your own private car, it was like a freaking luxury. That's why it was uh, so important to the Polish people, uh, you know, because it had a connection with the Polish politics um, during the communist period. Uh, you know, the Polish People's Republic up and up to uh, the 1989. Uh, the, the year of 1989. So this was pretty much uh, a, a very um, unique and a luxury car uh, back then. Um, all right, uh, and also uh, because of the nickname uh, and how popular it got, uh, you know, the maker, uh, you, I mean the producer, officially accepted uh, the name as uh, you know the name of the car of the actual car it was called Maluch you know the small one or the toddler uh, in the 1990s uh, I mean in the year of 1997 oh fuck I'm trying to go over this uh, as fast as I can fitting into the time 10 minute time period all right let's keep going 
All right, uh, the first car factory, the FSM car factory, was built in the 1972 in Bielsko-Biała. And uh, June 6th, 1973, the first unit was built. And uh, July 22nd, 1973, the, um, the official opening of the factory's production line. And by that year, uh, over 1,500 units were uh, manufactured. And uh, in September of uh, 1975, a second factory was built in Tiche. And uh, let's see, in 1997, the production of this car was closed in, uh, I mean, was only continued in uh, Bielsko Biała. I'm sorry, I'm jumbling my words together. It's freaking 11 o'clock and I'm making this video. God damn! All right, uh, December of 1984, uh, tactical construction, I mean, uh, tactical changes to the construction and the body were changed. And in May of 1993, uh, oh God, I just skipped something important. In uh, 1981, I'm sorry, the, um, uh, there were over 1 million units produced of this car. And in May of 1993, over 3 million units of this car were built. So, fucking awesome! Um, let's see. In the, and then the most uh, saddest part of, the, of its history is the 22nd of September 2000. Production was stopped. After a production of over 3 million units, that's still um, a lot of cars uh, sold and uh, I believe that's very successful. And uh, all Fiat's of the last limited Happy End series um, were yellow and uh, red as you can see right here. This is a red model of that uh, Happy End series. And in the Happy End series, uh, there were only 500 in red and 500 in uh, yellow uh, made. And after that, nothing. And uh, to sum this up, uh, during this day, uh, you can still see a Fiat 126P uh, on Poland's uh, roads. And, uh, you know... <laughs> What's uh, what's freaking? Um, I mean, what's fucking funny is uh, one day when I was driving uh, my car, um, there was this old guy uh, driving this uh, this car, but in uh, tan, uh, not red, but in tan. Um, I mean, not tan. Wow, in uh, teal. I'm sorry, the more uh, bluish, uh, greenish uh, type color. But uh, <laughs> that's not the 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 funny part. But the funny part is. Uh, the guy's car just stopped in the middle of the fucking road like a sitting duck and there was steam coming out of the engine. So I'm guessing he had a um, more elder model of this car, you know, the more recent models up until 2000 are um, better, I guess. Wow, excuse that, I just tipped over something. <laughs> excuse me! But this wouldn't be a Lazy Spot Kitty video without some kind of accident or with some fucking... Oh, God fucking damn it. I always have to screw something up. Alright, anyways. Uh, but whenever anyone sees this car on Poland's road, whether it be your grandpa, your grandma, your sister, your brother, everyone yells out, Look, it's a Maluch! Alright. Um, Brian, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was for you. Um... I hope you enjoyed this uh, sort of uh, rant on Poland's uh, most popular car in the uh, 80s, uh, 1980s. And everyone else, let me know what you think about these sorts of videos on uh, Poland's history and also Poland, uh, Polish food and Polish coins and overall uh, stuff on, in Poland. And maybe I'll do some uh, scenery and maybe some shots of... Uh, um, of the city in uh, in Warsaw, which is the capital of Poland. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, post a link down. I mean, eh, eh, post a comment down below. Oh, and also, this car has a song made for this car. There's a song made for this car. I will post a link down below. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy. Stay safe. Stay sharp, and have a good day. Peace.